Greetings to everybody, I hope this video finds you all well. This video will discuss National Electrical Safety Week, including when it is observed, why it is observed, what is the theme of the year 2024, and what its goals are. It will also cover some important safety tips for utilizing electrical equipment and doing electrical work. To further guarantee safety and avert any possible injury, we'll take into account crucial element. With that, let's begin today's video. The utilization of electrical equipment is growing quickly, along with changes that take place throughout time. Additionally, electric equipment is employed everywhere these days. Because employing them not only makes our lives much simpler, but it also saves money and time. Electrical equipment is very simple to use, but if not utilized correctly, it may be quite dangerous. When these devices are used improperly, they may cause serious harm or even death. Additionally, a fire brought on by a short circuit may result in property damage. The NCRB research states that electric shock kills almost 30 people in India every day. There were 13,446 recorded electric shock deaths in 2020 and 12,529 reported deaths in 2021. Every year, there are more and more incidents like short circuit related fires that seriously injure people and property. All of these mishaps are the result of people's ignorance. These kinds of mishaps are often caused by people using these products improperly in an attempt to save time or sacrificing quality in an effort to save money. Therefore, the National Safety Council, in partnership with the Central Electricity Authority across India, celebrates National Electrical Safety Week every year from June 26 to July 2, in an effort to avoid and decrease these electrical mishaps, as well as to raise awareness about electrical safety. Numerous workplace activities are planned on this day by the National Electrical Safety Week with the goal of igniting public and industry interest in electrical safety and reaffirming public and employee commitment to promoting a participatory approach to the safe use of electricity. To raise awareness about electrical safety, a variety of events are held, including essay contests, sporting events, song and drama competitions, poster contests, and banner displays. The goal is to educate people about safe electrical practices, things to look for when buying electrical equipment, and how crucial it is to wear the right PPE while working. The goal of this program is to protect people and property by preventing accidents. Every year, National Electrical Safety Week adopts a different theme. This year's theme is Embrace Electrical Safety, Safeguard Lives. This theme emphasizes the importance of adopting electrical safety measures to protect individuals from harm. It highlights the need for proper installation and maintenance of electrical systems, awareness of potential hazards, and adherence to safety regulations. By prioritizing these practices, we can prevent electrical accidents, injuries, and fatalities. Ultimately, embracing electrical safety is essential for safeguarding the well-being and lives of everyone who interacts with electrical systems. Now let's talk about the risks connected to electricity and electrical machinery. The following are risks related to electricity and electrical equipment, electric shock, fire, short circuit. Now let's talk about the crucial factors to remember while using electrical equipment and carrying out any electrical repair. Examine all electrical equipment on a regular basis. 
regular inspections of all the electrical equipment in the workplace are necessary. Ensure all devices are disconnected before beginning any testing. Then examine them to see if there are any defects. If so replace the faulty components right away and correct the issue to avoid mishaps like fire and electric shock. Additionally, bear in mind that someone with training should do this task. Carelessness may result in accidents. Always use high quality wiring. It is important to use only high quality wiring, whether in the office or at home. It is important to repair any broken wires right away in order to guarantee safety and avoid short circuits. Electrical boards should never be overloaded. This will help to avoid short circuits and possible fire concerns. To lessen the chance of overloading, more outlets must be added in high demand locations. Use the extension cord correctly. Since extension cords are often used in offices, it is important to use them correctly. Never use nails or other fasteners to hang them from walls and never hide cables under doors, rugs, or other impediments. Damage cables from improper usage might put users at danger for electric shock. After the task is over, turn off all electrical equipment. Electrical equipment should always be turned off after usage. It is advisable to disconnect and store small gadgets securely. Equipment that has not been turned off may overheat and provide fire risks. Voltage variations also run the risk of damaging the apparatus. Always use insulated tools. When inspecting or fixing electrical equipment, be sure to always use insulated tools to avoid electric shock. Never forget that using electrical equipment when moist hands is not a good idea. Before using, make sure your hands are totally dry. Choose a wooden or non-conductive ladder over an iron one if you're using it for electrical work. Teach your kids about electricity and how to use it responsibly. Little ones often pull the cords from electrical equipment while they are playing, touch them with moist hands, or forget to turn off the light fan because they don't know how to utilize electricity properly or what the risks are. It is essential to teach kids how to use electrical gadgets safely and correctly in order to protect their safety. As a result, we must constantly advise kids on how to handle electricity and electrical gadgets so that we may safeguard them. Put on the proper personal protective equipment. Always put on the proper personal protective equipment while doing electrical repair or maintenance work. PPE is always required while doing electrical work. You could get an electric shock otherwise. Now, we'll wrap up today's video. As you operate with or near electricity and electrical equipment, keep in mind that electricity can kill or severely injure people and even can cause damage to property. But by simple precautions, we can significantly reduce the risk of injury. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our Shield Talks YouTube channel. When dealing with electricity, always remember to think safe, work safe, and be safe.